So this is my Columns 2 template, and this is the template that uh, controls the sidebar for users that are not logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple changes. This is the default template, the way I have it right now, um, and I have my code in a notepad. And so first I want this one line, and all that says is if the page is not page ID 21, um, and that's what this exclamation point means in the liquid markup language that we're using. Um, so if the page ID is not 21, then do everything as normal. Um, and then the change comes with this else. So that means if the page is 21, then that's where we want to change it. And we're going to put it after this end if, and I'm going to put it right there. Um, and so you can see this is the supporter nav. We're not going to change that. Um, if you want to change the supporter nav, do it in that supporter nav template. Um, I think that's the, the best way to make sure that you keep all your of your code straight. But what I am going to do is I'm going to add a little thing here because I'm logged in um, and I want to make sure my code is working. So that's obnoxious, but I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put save. And I'm going to refresh. This is page 21. Um, and an easy way to figure that out is to either edit the page, uh, create a new page, or you can actually go through your dashboard and find um, find the page numbers there. So you can see that my edits worked. I'm logged in. Um, and to figure out, you can see that this is page number 21 because when I click edit, um, it's pages slash 21. And every page in Nation Builder has that no matter what type of page it is. Um, and so that's really useful. And you can see that this even says show sidebar, um, and that's why I'm able to edit here. So you want to make sure that it says show sidebar, otherwise it won't even call this template here. Um, so let's go over this code here that I've added. So I added this else, and so that means if it is page 21, and this is just a comment here in the liquid markup, um, then this this is all, I just grabbed all of this stuff from um, the top at the very top. Um, so I grabbed, you know, this part until we got to um, the supporter nav and else. So if they're logged in, then do that. Show the supporter nav. We're not going to mess with that. Else, all they see if they're not logged in is my sidebar. And so you can add whatever buttons, images, text you want there. Um, you can add the uh, built in sidebar and just add things to it. And that's a quick way to do that. Um, and then it, everything ends and it goes back to normal. Um, and you can grab a couple of different page IDs or you can even use this liquid markup to you, um, get different logic if you want to go a little bit deeper um, and not do page IDs but do a specific type of page. Um, then you can do that. Liquid markup is, is pretty easy to use um, and there's a lot of good resources out there. It's Ruby based so it's, it's really adaptable.